everybody welcome back to my channel and it is april which means that it is my april cohorted unboxing so for those of you that are new to my channel or new to cohorted it is a monthly uk subscription box which comes in at 35 pounds a month and is filled with premium high-end skincare and makeup brands so i've been receiving cohorted for about two years now and i always love the products that are inside my box um, I really really enjoy receiving it um, I have had a little bit of gripe with cohorted this month and I will get into that at the end of this video but for now let's just unbox this one and see what's inside okay so here we have the items that are inside this month's box and it looks like this month is another brand box so sometimes they do special edition boxes where they are just filled with completely one brand and this month it looks like it's figs and rogue also inside each box you will get a booklet which tells you all about the edit and how much it's worth now according to the edit this month it's worth 188 pounds so you pay 35 pounds a month you get 188 pounds worth of product that is really good. Now Figs and Rogue is a brand that I actually do use. I use um, their morning uh, AHA uh, Smart Nutrient Day Cream every day. So this is a brand that I would definitely enjoy the products from because I do think they are good quality. I know that there has been a few products on the market which were a bit fishy, let's say the least. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll leave a, a few links below um, but generally speaking they are a brand that I do like. They are a vegan and cruelty free skincare brand and they have recently readapted their packaging and made it really fun and exciting so let's dive into the brand. Okay so the first item that is in this month's box is a revive oil. Now this is a new product to me I've not tried anything since they've rebranded recently um, and this is a morning revive oil. It's skin brightening facial oil. It's vegan and cruelty free. Um, I don't know if this is full size or not, but it's 10 mils. Let's have a little look and see what it says about it. The revive oil has a recommended retail price of 22 pounds. It says it's a concentrated moisture shot of facial oil designed to deeply nourish and hydrate, visibly add bounce and revive and renew dull or tired complexions. Blended with um, conditioning omega vitamins and uh, enriching oils including rose hip, rose hip, evening primrose, rosemary and candula. This lightweight intensive treatment of oil delivers an instant radiance and skin vitality. It can be used as an essential on the go dry spot daily treatment as needed. Oh, okay so if you get like particularly like dry areas you could use it on like that. Basically, it's like a little pipette. Okay, so it's a very dry oil. Oh, it's very lightly. It doesn't have a very strong scent at all. It is very, very lightly scented. Very lightly indeed. Uh, it does feel nice on the skin. You wouldn't need a lot of that at all. Like maybe just like a one or two drops into a moisturizer would be the way that I would recommend personally using that. Um, or as maybe like a night oil um, but yeah that is quite nice it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all um, and yeah it just has a a really very very light fragrance really light like you can barely smell it at all okay so the next product is worth 35 pounds which is the same price as my HA uh, morning moisturizer that they do and this is the Morning Revival. So I'm wondering if they've rebranded the AHA Moisturiser and this is the same formula. I'm not sure. I would have to look at the um, ingredients. But it does say on here that it is formulated using a combination of hyaluronic acid, which is in the one that I've got, the Smart Nutrient Day Cream, Shea Butter and naturally occurring vitamin A, C and E for a perfectly liberating inner radiance. Um... Okay, but it does say it has rose, and I didn't know mine had rose in it, so let's just have a little pump. Oh, okay, so it's not quite the same as what I have at the moment, but this does look very similar. 
um, and sounds like it's got similar ingredients. The difference is this has a slight rose scent to it. Um, it does feel nice and moisturising. This is definitely one you would apply to your skin and then just leave it a couple of minutes for it to sink in. Otherwise it could leave maybe like a little bit of a white cast but actually that's melted into the skin really nicely now. And yeah, it does just have a very slight rose scent to it. So I will give it a go once I've got through the um, AHA uh, day cream. So it says that the hydration cream um, is a restoring rose cream, 50 mils, recommended retail price is £35, so this is full size. A deeply nourishing skin boosting morning hydration cream blended with restorative rose hip and revitalising rose water, dedicated to brightening and evening skin tone. Formulated using a combination of hyaluronic acids and shea butter and naturally occurring vitamins A, C and E. Perfect for liberating inner radiance, waking up tired or sluggish complexion. Along with soothing properties of candula and aloe, this is a delicate anti-inflammatory morning skin treat. Mm. Well, it does feel very nice, so I'm, yeah, really interested to use that over the next couple of months and I'll let you know how I get on. Okay so next we have a serum and this is 30 mils and this is the Daily Detox so it's a micro refining serum. I've never thought of serums being micro refining so this is quite interesting. It is the only detox you need for an ultra glowing complexion. The ultra weight detoxifying serum is designed to improve skin texture, refine and unclog pores infused with rosehip, witch hazel and salicylic acid to brighten the complexion daily. Anti-inflammatory properties of chamomile, aloe and vitamin E delivers a soothing treatment for e even the sensitive of skin tones. Okay let's see what it's like. Okay so it's a little pink kind of serum. That smells nice as well. It all has a very very soft floral scent to it all of these um Pieces. So yeah, I think I would definitely give that one a go and see how I get on with it. Okay, so next we have the Illumination Eye Balm. So brighten the eye as a morning reviver. Now this has exactly the same ingredients as all the other base products. So this says that it's an inspiring morning reviving eye balm. It's infused with delicate rose water, aloe to aloe, eye bright and candula to carefully diminish puffiness and restore luminosity to tired eyes along with hyaluronic acid, shea butter, collagen and rosehip oil treatment to soften, add and bounce and diminish free lines, f diminish fine lines for deep renewal. No more tired looking eyes. So it says here apply to cleanse skin a small amount using your ring finger, dab across the exhibital bone under your eyebrow down towards the eye socket area. Okay, so let's see what this is like. Okay, so it's more of a cream. That came out really easily, actually. Oh, and it's quite heavy, actually. That's quite a thick balm. It doesn't really have any more scent than all the other products, so I think they all work together really nicely. So, yeah, that looks really nice. It seems really nice on the skin. With skincare it's always really hard to tell and do first and you can only do first impressions but yeah I'm I'm interested to see what that one's like. Okay so next we have the Hydrapore. Now I feel like I've seen this in some other boxes recently um, and it is a soft focus pore perfector and it's £35. Um, this is 30 mils, so I'm guessing that's full size. Banish those pores with this weightless matte serum designed to help minimise the appearance of pores and create a sheer complexion with dual action anti blemish formulation to help reduce skin impurities and combat breakouts leaving you with a clearer balanced complexion okay so it's a mattifying product um now my only issue with that is that i have very dry skin and um although the other products are really really hydrating and lovely i feel like this might be kind of doing the opposite. Just squeeze some onto my hand to see what it's like. This is also pink. There's a very pink theme to their skincare and makeup it seems. Um, okay, so I did expect it to feel a little bit more 
um, like um, it had silica in it um, because that tends to be what a lot of the mattifying products are um, but it does feel a little bit lighter than that now one thing I am noticing that as I'm moving it around my skin it is lifting some of the um, found the moisturizer off just slightly um, but I think maybe that just might be that I've not given it enough time oh it does have a bit of a funny smell and that is what their primers are known for is that they have a bit of a funny smell yeah it smells a bit fishy not a fan of that it smells a bit odd I don't like the fragrance that that produces that's all I can say about it really um, I don't think I would use that just based off the smell shame because I do like their skincare products okay now this is the product that I am most excited to try and it is their morning glow drops now I love the packaging on this I think it looks adorable um, really really pretty and yet again it's pink like I feel like there is a lot of pink product in this box so the morning revival uh, rose glow drops come in at 28 pounds they are illuminating glow illuminate and glow with a morning revival rose glow drop an instant complexion boosting and soothing elixir designed to encapsulate the skin in a dewy soft glow the weightless oil-free rose quartz mineral complex um, highlights and customizes for a vibrant glowing complexion formulated with distinctive brightening multi-hued minerals to help intensify radiance for perfected refreshed skin whoa so that sounds like quite a good product um and definitely more something that is designed for my kind of more dry skin than it is the primer that they've included um let's have a little look so it's another pipette product oh this is so pretty so pretty okay oh interesting so it's very um almost like gloopy it's got a weird texture um, a little definitely is going to go a long way it doesn't look doesn't look as pink on the skin as it did before um, but I've probably got enough on my hand here to go all the way down my arm it feels very slimy if I'm completely honest it feels like slime um, yeah that's really odd I would add that into maybe a moisturizer or something like that it feels very so cooling on the skin actually which is interesting um, but I can't seem to get it to blend into the skin it just seems to be sitting on top so I probably wouldn't use that as like a liquid highlighter I definitely would add it maybe into a foundation or something like that to give it a bit more of a dewy finish um, but it doesn't seem to have made that much of a difference but I don't know I think I'd have to play around with that one to see how I get on with it okay so here is an overview of my box this month um I am loving the skincare products I think they look really nice really great I definitely will be using them the makeup products don't seem to work quite as well for me but we're gonna have another go of the high we'll play around with the dew drops I'm definitely not going to be touching that primer it's not for me I'm not a fan of the smell that comes from it but the other products are a big thumbs up from me this month so yeah really excited to see um, what they're like as I've not tried them before and I am a fan of their moisturizers that I use in them I use it in the morning so yeah so I did announce at the beginning of this video that I was going to update you with um, my cohorted situation. Um, last month I received a missing product in my box um, and I've not had a resolution from cohorted yet. Unfortunately I contacted them a few weeks ago to say that not only had I had a missing item, um, several people who had subscribed to cohorted through my channel watching my unboxing 
unboxings in the past month or so I've been having some problems with their free items um, and the quality of the boxes that have been arriving and I just wanted them to get back to those people because they had also not had any responses. Now that was a little while ago I have seen that Cohorted have read my email but they have not responded to me in any way um, and I think that it is really important for me to let you guys know that. Um, the reason being that obviously if you have subscribed through watching my videos um, I want you to know that I am no way unhappy with the quality of products or that I'm receiving in my box it is just literally like that tiny little thing um, relating to their customer service that has just left me with a bit of a bad taste in my mouth at the moment so I am suspending my subscription until that is resolved and they come back to me with some response or answer as to what's happening um i don't know if they will um and that is really sad because i love cohorted i love my subscription box from them it's one of my favorites every month i've tried so many good brands from that box um I really feel that it is something that I'm really passionate about receiving and it's just really upset me that they haven't got back to me yet. I don't want that to impact on how you see the box, it's your own experience, um, but for me at the moment I am just pausing it and I will update you as soon as I know anything. Um, but yeah, it's really, really sad and I just feel a little bit upset if I'm honest. So guys, that is everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unboxings to come this month. I have got some fabulous, fabulous boxes coming. So stay tuned and I will see you all very soon. Take care guys. Bye.